Enhanced by 2017, we have had a larger predator come into the bay, the orca, and that has disrupted some of or a lot of our white shark sightings in this area. Now what has happened is we have found that there are some orcas along this coastline that will target the white sharks, specifically for their liver. After these occurrences, we experience that flight response from the other animals that may be in the bay, sensing that threat. Now, that flight response, uh, what happens after these occurrences? We have uh, many days, many weeks without white shark sightings around our vessels. Uh, you're looking at an average time of about three weeks. And after these three weeks, we generally find that the white sharks will reappear in the area, however, quite slowly as they migrate along the coast and back into the bay here. Uh, it has now been five weeks since our sharks have returned to the area. Things were very slow in the beginning. Things are still uncertain. However, we have started to see an increase in the number and also some fantastic uh, behavior and activity out on the water. Now in these five weeks, uh, we've documented or been able to identify approximately 25 to 30 different white sharks. Some of them have stuck around for a, a short period of time, whereas others have been here for a little bit longer. For example, one of the first sharks that we were able to document coming back into the bay is a large female that we estimate at approximately 4.2 meters. I've known this female now since 2012 and uh, affectionately know her as Scarlett and she is part of our studies uh, including behavioural, uh, also wound healing and part of a collaborative study with Sussex University in the UK, UCT and Stellenbosch University here in South Africa along with the Dyer Island Conservation Trust in which a biopsy sample was collected from this animal. Now to date we are still seeing Scarlett uh, every now and again. Uh, another example would be a smaller male that we know as Mini Nemo, who we have known uh, quite similar to Scarlett since 2012. Uh, Mini Nemo uh, was named due to the stunted pectoral fin on the right side, much like the fish in the movie Finding Nemo. Uh, now this animal didn't stick around for long, uh, however he is one of the most frequent visitors to the bay and we may see him four to five times a year coming through the area. Now we've also had some other observations, quite interesting. Uh, we have had uh, another species of shark come up to the boat during this time and that is your bronze whaler, also known as your copper shark or your narrow tooth shark. Now this is not a, a regular sighting for us, however like I mentioned it is quite interesting. These animals do interact uh, around the boat. Uh, much like say your white sharks would, not as much activity and not as, let's say, curious. However, it is a fantastic sighting for any of our guests joining us on board Marine Dynamics uh, shark cage diving vessel slash fin. Uh, we also have had some sightings of your short-tailed stingray, Dasiatus brevicordata. This is part of the, the whip tail family. Uh, these animals are one of your largest marine-based stingrays and they, they seem to like your bronze whalers, uh, be curious, come up to the boat, investigate a little bit. So things, uh, whilst uncertain, have been picking up and we have had some fantastic sightings of your white sharks and other species in this area.